My channel is about learning and sharing. I believe that sometimes we Americans tend to focus on ourselves and we forget that there are hunters, trappers, and outdoorsmen in other countries and that they too upload their videos to YouTube just like us. Now we can learn a lot from them if we take the time to learn how to watch and understand their videos. A case in point is Russian videos. There's a huge number of hunting, trapping, fishing, and general outdoor related videos that are published by Russians. Now they're speaking Russian so they're largely ignored by Americans and that's a mistake. I've spent many a long cold winter night here lately watching Russian YouTube videos. Not only is the scenery magnificent, but I'm constantly struck by how similar we are. That is, American and Russian hunters, trappers, and outdoorsmen. Regardless of what our governments do, we need to understand that we're all men of the wild places and that we have more in common with each other than what separates us. So how do you get started watching these videos and actually understand a little bit about what you're looking at? Well, you could learn to speak Russian or you can do what I do. Okay, the first thing we need to do is learn how to search for what we're looking for on YouTube. If I just come to YouTube.com and I type in something like Russian hunting videos and I do a search, what you're going to notice is that everything that is returned is in English and that's because I searched in English. So you see, I'm not going to get videos that were uploaded by Russians themselves that are in Russian. I'm not going to get that. I'm going to get the English videos that have been uploaded by people who speak English. That's not what I want. So we have to translate the English search string, such as Russian hunting videos. We're going to translate that into Russian. So we can go to um, Google and simply type in translate English to Russian. And what we'll do is we'll translate Russian hunting videos into Russian. And you can see this is the Cyrillic alphabet. And we're going to copy. Now let's go back to YouTube and let's put our new Russian search string in. Now you can see we get completely different results. What you're seeing are the Russian videos uploaded by the Russians themselves, not the English videos. This is where we want to start. This video here looks interesting, but I have no idea what this is about or what it says. So let's find out. Now let's take the title, let's click on it, and let's take the title here and see what the name of this video is. Hunting for Wild Boar, Season 2014. Pretty cool. Now one of the first things you're going to notice is that if you're like me, you don't speak Russian, so you're going to be kind of lost. Now there are a couple of options here. One is the sub subtitles or closed captioning. Now what you can do is the first thing you notice is that the subtitles are off. So let's turn them on and you can see instead of off being checked, I'm going to check Russian automatic captions. The first thing you'll notice is that the subtitles are now being displayed here in Russian. Now the problem is this is machine generated. This is the computer itself trying to translate the spoken Russian into written Russian and it doesn't always come out right. But like me, if you don't speak Russian, this isn't of much use. So what we need to do is translate this into English. So let's go back to our settings and you can see that our subtitles here are in Russian. 
So let's choose translate. And now what we're going to do is we're going to choose English, which is the language that I speak. Sort of. So let's take a look. Here we go. Click OK. And now what's going to happen is that the computer is going to try and take the Russian subtitles and translate them into English. Now if you'll watch, these subtitles are not always perfectly translated. Um, that's just a result of the technology. It's simply not perfected yet. But what it can do is give you an idea of what they're talking about. So you can see that by using Google Translate we can take an English search string, we can translate it to Russian, we can search and find the Russian videos that we're interested in, and then even if we can't understand what they're saying, we can take the closed caption and the subtitles and we can have them translated into English to where we can get a fairly good idea of what they're talking about. Now I've really enjoyed watching this video. This has been really good. So I'm going to leave a comment for the guy. But of course the guy speaks Russian, not English. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my comment and I'm going to translate it from English to Russian and then I'm going to leave my comment on his channel. So let's take a look. Let's say uh, great video. Thank you for sharing this. Pretty simple comment. Let's copy. Paste it. And at that point, I can click post and we're done. Now one of my favorite channels and one that I suggest you start with if you're interested in this is Metki1985. This guy's channel is really good. He uploads a lot of nature documentaries um, that are all in Russian, but it's a very high quality channel and I've learned a lot from watching it. Now the takeaway from all this is not so much some trapping method or some trapping set or hunting method that you've learned from watching these videos. What I hope you take away from this is the fact that we're not enemies. The Russian people and the American people are not enemies. Regardless of what our governments do and the games that they play, the average Russian outdoorsman has as much control over Vladimir Putin as I do over Barack Obama, which is none. And we can't let ourselves get sucked into hating each other because of what our governments do, when in fact there's very little difference between us. I hope this has been of use, and thank you for watching.